Now that is an emotional end to this arc. Like, seriously, what can we do after this? Are we going to go back into comedy now? Because it seems like Sorachi is going to go into a very dangerous thing right now. The best way I can describe this is as ballsy. If you're planning to kick out some of people's favorite fucking characters out of the series for a while. Mind you, that's going to work more well when they're like, they return. But it's like... There's a lot to be said about this chapter, so straight up, let me get it uh, straight up by saying that the Shinsengumi are like being told to abandon Edo straight up, stuff. and like Katsura is bringing up some good points, saying like, if you stay right now in these political conditions, so, like, yeah, you and fucking Kondo and Ma uh, Matsudaya, you guys are going to be in danger straight up. You're you're not you can't die without achieving anything like the Hiji guy. You've got to understand that it's like Nobunobu, that fucking piece of shit that he is. You know, you made him lose face. You also angered him by your rebellion. Right now, you guys are the main face of the rebellion. If you guys die or anything happens to you, you're the symbol of this rebellion. If you die, that's it. That flame, that fucking ignition that you got to people, the best thing that you guys can do right now is go out there, recruit more people, get a small army to rebel, and get... That's their duty right now. They have to do this to get everyone else there. And I don't know, I was just getting so much when you saw Kondo saying like he was saying goodbye to all the ones that they protected. You saw Kagura and like Sogo like saying goodbye by having a brawl and Hijikai and Gintoki. That was some fucking emotional shit. So let's get straight up with like the Sogo and Kagura stuff. Those two trying to have a fight for once and for all. Who is the strongest out of all of them and say, I ain't going to lose to that crow motherfucker. See, this is character development right there. Like, they learned from their fucking fight, like, with fucking Shoyo, that they are nothing. What would be great right now for, like, Kagura is she actually accept, like, she has to swallow down her pride and she ends up training with Kamui or her father or, like, even fucking, or, or, like, Obito, or, like, or, like or any of them like that. Any of her fucking clan, if started training, that would be amazing. Like for her, like she actually had to end up swallowing that and saying, "I need to train with my." I, I can understand more of the father side, but even Ka like Kamui might be a little, a little bit off because you know their relationship's just a little bit weird. But even so, I feel like after this fight, obviously Sogo is going to get a lot more stronger. He's going to get more crazy than he was. The same thing can kind of be said for Kagura as well. It really depends, like, what he wants to do with Kagura. I could feel this could be a perfect time to give uh, some more development with Kagura. But mind you, Kagura needs to stay in the story. So I feel it would be weird if, like, everyone starts disappearing. And right now, this is the whole reason why, like, you know, the audience is staying behind in the first place. They need Kagura. They need Gintoki. They need Shimbachi. These are the only guys that can defend Edo right now. The Shinsengumi, the main force that was protecting the streets, is like, if we're going by this logic, who else is there to protect right now? I'm pretty sure, like, all the ninjas right now, like Saratobi and all them, I think they're still a bit fucked up and they can't, let they still haven't even healed from their last wounds. I don't even think they're re remotely, fair, like, ready yet to go against the stuff. Not to mention, like, the best way I feel like they can do it, the Yoriza can either recruit help from Yoshiwara, or they can actually go there and kind of recuperate back there, because you're gonna be more better. Even though I keep mentioning how much I love Tsukiya as a character, they're their other force right now. They're the only ones you can either get from them, the four divas, but that's just a debate right now. Like, I mean, are you really gonna get the four divas games into this matter as well? Like, you know, there's a lot of things that they can do right now, and I feel that would be more like a uh, Striegel, but like, when you got to see, like, when you saw Shinpachi saying, you know what, Kondo, you are, you, next time you're here, you're not going to be a stalker, you're not going to be any of that shit, we're going to invite you straight through the front door, because you're fucking family now, like that. Honestly, I feel like that chapter would have been even fucking, like, a tiny bit better if we saw, if, like, Kondo managed to get one kiss, one fucking kiss off a uh, tire, like, or if he just said, wait for me, or something like that, and this, and next time I come back, I bring a ring. Like that, I once, I wish I had something like that, like to like make sure that they're an actual pairing. But then as well, people still want that kind of like Gintoki, like Otai kind of relationship, which is nah, Kondo deserves that. Kondo deserves that fucking piece of ass. Like I, after everything he's gone through, giant scar through his face, he deserves that fucking pussy. I'm just saying, he deserves it. And then just. Not to mention as well, fucking even Gintoki and just Hijikata's whole little thing was just fucking amazing. 
like just him just like having a fucking drink, a smoke, and they're saying, you know what, we like talking about all the good times where they're teamed up, they've done cool shit, and it's like, you know, and just he just kind of saying, you know, you know, all the things that you've done for us is like we won't forget that, and uh, you know, I and that's the kind of thing that with Kentucky as well is like. He's like, you know what? They say, like, he just says, like, he owes a lot to him. But then as well, Kentucky has to say as well, like, you know, I forgot something way back then as well. Like, when I saw, like, Kondo and he saw Shoyo, that's, he saw Shoyo in in there. Like, when he saw Kondo, he's like, that's not going to go through the same situation I did. Like, I couldn't bear losing my master. You can't lose yours. Like, that's something now. Now that Kentucky's actually got the power to do something to protect the people that he generally cares about, he knows it's something like that happening. He does, like, and that's why one of the, the latest anime episodes really came into fucking fruition with this chapter when he was saying, like, have I become a better person? Yes, you have, Kentucky, because you've done something that you couldn't do all those years ago. You managed to protect someone this time. You managed to save someone's life. You are managing to change the country. That's a fucking character right there, people. Like, you think a lot of Shonen protagonists are fucking shitty-ass little characters? Sakata Gintoki right here. Fucking best character in Shonen Jump. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. He is the best fucking main in Shonen Jump. Right now. That's just, that's just fucking legit. Ain't no one else. Just Gintoki itself. And that is an inco I know I come from a big being a massive title of Gintama, but I'm just saying it. Gintoki is the best fucking main in like showing protagonists uh, like but just the way that they ended it, it was like, you know what? We're gonna be the other way around. Like they had the, each other's food for once like that, you know, all the fucking mermaids and the fucking sweet beans and shit. And they're just there like fucking throwing I say, yo, fuck that. That shit was nasty. And just the laughing and like even Kagura and early uh, Sogo's like a, like fight ending up in a draw. Even like Kondo saluting him saying, you know, goodbye everyone like that. And it's like just seeing them all together, like just back to where they started, like all of the Shinsengumi and saying, you know, you know, we're back to what we wanted to, you know, like we're back to like becoming samurais of Edo and it's just like, oh that's just a great ass chapter. It's a great finale. However, which do I go with? Do I go with the Takasugi arc? That we just had? Or do I go with this one? Because this one's fucking great. I'd like to say that they're both on equal standards. But Kakasugi fight and everything that's standing for right there was godlike. Was fucking insane. This as well was fucking amazing. With the whole reveal of Shoyo and like the whole thing that's going on with the Shinsengumi and the death as well. It's like they're both on equal standings. Both are fucking perfect guys. Questions are, where are we going to go in right now, and what's going to happen now with Nogume? That's the big question, but great chapter. That's all I've got to say. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys next time.